Hello viewers, this is Just Fake Network TV, a place where you can get the latest information about Nigeria news and out the news in details. Skulls feared dead as heavy explosions gun shot rock Maduguri. Heavy explosions and the sound of gunshot that engulfed some part of Maduguri, the Bono State capital, have claimed many lives with others injured. And this has forced many residents in the affected areas to scamper for safety. The explosion and firing of rocket propelled grenade, which started at about 5.45 p.m. to the time of filling in the report, were heard around Kaleri behind the University of Maduguri. Sources also said sounds of gunshots were heard around Fori and Kachu planta plantation general area near Giwa, military barracks. Sources said armed insurgents were behind the attack, attempting to infiltrate the city as troops engaged them. Maduguri has been long without witnessing any Boko Haram invasion, even as the chief of army staff, Major General Ibrahim Ataru, last Sunday, while on operational visit to the state, gave for the eight hours ultimatum to troops to recapture local government area in Mati, which is currently under the control of Boko Haram. And one of the fleeing residents of Gamamari, Ahmed Abba, near Holi, Biu of Gwangi, general area in the heart of the city, said a heavy explosion which was detonated in one of the public gatherings led to the killings of the scores and injured. Also, sources said one of the rocket propelled launchers fired by the insurgents into Kaleri has killed an in unex unspecified numbers of residents with other sustained injuries. All efforts to get confirmations from the police public relations officers, the SP, Hidet Okon, proved abortive at press time so guys what do you think about this what is your own take you know it is only god that can help us in our country you know you know a lot of things keep happening and happening every day you know there has never been a time that we'll hear good news about nigeria you know everything that we hear is always people dying here and there what kind of leaders do we have we are tired of all those things we keep hearing so many evil atrocities in the country can you imagine the way people are dying like as if it is animals that are dying, for God's sake? <laughs> if Nigerian leaders are not careful enough, trust me, gradually the nation is heading to another war entirely. It's heading to another war because with the way things are going on right now, there has never been good news about this country. Everything we always hear is always... Oh, uh, kidnapping everywhere, uh, killing everywhere, raping everywhere. Come on. Shows that we don't have a good leader. That's just a mini. May God help us. Let's hear people's opinion first. You know, someone was saying that uh, the problem of Aousa people is that even up till now, they still defend their full and like their God. Soon there won't be anything like Aousa again. Which is true. There won't be anything again. And you know, people were even saying that, uh, why is it that there has never been a good news that comes out from Nigeria? Exactly what I just said. You know, why they were saying that, how do you expect good news when you have a criminal parading himself as your president? Of course, we cannot have a good news. Because even the leader, even the so-called president is, is part of the people that are causing evil atrocity in the country. He is happy with the way things are going on right now. That is the reason why it's hard for us to see President Muhammad Buhari coming out to address the nation. So may God help us. Things are not right in the country. Things are not right at all. But it's just so unfortunate that the people that are going along with it, the people that are dying are the innocent ones. 
They are the innocent ones. That's just the problem that is there. May God help us. Where are these leaders? Where are they when all these things are going on? May God, this is not a good thing. No. Nigeria is going to the edge of destruction. We are just praying that it will not reach there. That is just our prayer. We are praying. You know, someone said that all this attack is in the Christian dominating areas and they don't have any representatives to speak for them. The only thing they would do is come out on TV to pray for them and compensate them. Poor Christians in the north. You know, they said God saves your children from this insurgent. You know, people say Aosa people didn't value lives the way other tribes value it. Or die, not die. That is where the problem lies. They don't see lives as very important thing at all. In fact, they would rather prefer their cow, the their, their cow, than a human life, the lives of a cow than human lives. Because they, they didn't see any valuable thing that can be more important than their animals that they are rearing. And unfortunately, they want to rule the country. They want to be in charge at all cost. They want to take charge. They want to take control of the country. And God will not give them the chance. So guys, what do you think about this? What is your own take? Kindly drop your comments at the comment section below. For those who subscribe, we want to say a very big thank you to you for subscribing. We say God bless you. And if I yet to do so, kindly press the subscription button below. And also, please don't forget to press the notification button so that whenever we upload news, of course, you will always be the first person to watch our latest news anytime, any day. God bless you for all that's been there for us at all time. Stay safe at this crucial time. Have a lovely day.